everyone? Welcome back. Do I went way too close? <laughs> way too close to the back. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling good. Thank you, as always, for stopping on by on this beautiful Friday night for myself, whatever day it is for you. Uh, let's go ahead and finish out Grobschnitz, Rock Pommel's Land, with the title track, the 20 minute epic taking up the whole second side of the album. Let's just get into it. This has been a really, really fun album to listen to. Thank you guys for suggesting it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the music alongside me. And if you're here, I'm sure you have. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and listen to this epic, see where it takes us. I can imagine it's at least going to take us to Rock Thomas Lane, but let's find out. Here we come. Here we are all around. Breaking swords of stony souls. Stony arms. Stony legs, stony brain. One, two, three, and again.
pretty grotto Wherein they so Mr. Glee Suddenly little Annie He heard a thousand children singing And to when he looked up He saw the shadows climbing Toward the pretty grotto shade Where I lost his body
Scheiße, das sieht aus. <lacht> That's it. Whew. What an ending to this album, this, this epic track to this album. One thing I really enjoyed about this track is how with this very fairy tale, fantastical story that we're being told, I like how the music actually captures that. It's epic in its nature. It's a fun and adventurous romp, but there's also that fairy tale dreamlike quality to it. Something that you can imagine would spring from a child's imagination. And I feel like even musically, the music has that aspect in it. Like without sound without sounding mean or or mean spirited, the music sounds light, like a like a light affair. Like there's those heavy moments, but they're they're moments of exhilaration not moments of perhaps like a maturity or or a mature kind of like awakening it just feels like childlike like once again like it feels like something a child's imagination would have come up with with the story about marabou and the whole rock palmas land and somehow the music also carries that whimsy with it even as you get into the bigger climactic moments like the very ending with the soaring guitar the way the music came in from that very musical box lullaby like melody, I love that. Grew, 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 faded in, you hear the drums in the back, and then it just absolutely whomps you with that slap in the face. With the guitar just soloing, just, just blazing that ending trail. I really enjoyed that part as well. I really, really was enjoying uh, Joaquin Eric on the drums, percussion. I'm really liking the way that he brought everything together. It was just, like it was entertaining to listen to the whole time i'm like there's a lot going on no matter what you could you know talk about the keyboards the guitar everything but i was I, I kept on finding myself attached to the drums and just listening to how he was linking together different sections and kind of bringing everything together and connecting one movement to another like i just really enjoyed the way that that was played you know there's a lot of fun to be had as well from the marching band style that came in later uh, to the heavier moments, especially like closer to the opening. There was just a lot of variety in the drums as well. Of course, you get the same thing in like the melodic parts of the music with the keyboards and the organ and the Mellotron. Like there's a lot going on. I think there was Mellotron in there. I want to say there was. Um, and of course, the different uh, guitar sound effects and stuff going on. This is This is like a child's imagination just running wild, coloring outside the lines and, and just running and moving forward. Uh, I, I like that. I really like that that nature in the music. Now, I do have a few, a few criticisms. I will be honest, okay? I do have a few criticisms. While I appreciate this track, I do think actually that the first side of the album, on a first listen, is incredibly stronger than this. For some reason, this just sounded kind of plodding a little bit. Everything connected pretty well. But besides the ending and a couple movements here and there within this 20 minute track, I actually was kind of bored listening to this. And I can't help but think this way. And this is just, you know, I'm not a professional or anything like that. I'm just a guy who listens to music and I form an opinion after listening to that music. I couldn't help but feel like listening to this. I was like, man, I'd rather kind of listen to Relayer right now. Man, I kind of listen, rather listen to Topographic Oceans right now. I couldn't help myself from feeling a desire to listen to something else in a similar vein, but at least in my mind, on a first listen, once again, a little bit more entertaining, a little bit better. I enjoyed this, and kind of with the pictures that we saw before in the little booklet from the CD, like this would be a really fun stage show to see, accompanied, of course, by the music and the performance, and I would, I'm sure that it would absolutely be insane to see that, you know, their costumes and the set designs. But as a studio, like, listen, I honestly can't see myself coming back to this particular track. If I'm being honest, I think that there's good moments in there. But overall, I think it kind of drags a little bit. I think it kind of thickens the plot, so to speak, unnecessarily. I think there's a lot of things in there that kind of fill it out. And I just don't really care for it. You know, is it cohesive? Yeah, I don't think there's anything that badly sticks out. It's just that there's nothing in there so exciting that it draws me into wanting to listen to this on its own, you know? But I do think the first side actually is, is really, really good. And I didn't care for the singing so much in here. And while it works really well in the theme and the story that's being told, <laughs> it's a bit cheesy. 
Especially when you have moments like the, the goblins or whatever that come in with their pitched up voices in there. <laughs> and they're laughing and stuff like that. Like, yeah, it makes sense from a story perspective. But, you know, I just want to listen to music. And I didn't, I didn't really care for that so much. So that's my ending synopsis. Or my ending thoughts on it. But let's talk about these lyrics. The announcement. Here we come, here we are, all around, taking forth our stony sound, stony arms, stony legs, stony brain, one, two, three, and again. Ernie, you found a hiding place, the only way to stay. A gang of stony men was scuffing down the way. Stony noise, <laughs> stony noises, stony noses, stony heads armed with poisonous eyes, orcs in their bush-like hands smoking their stony sighs. Run away from this dangerous smoke with her, which wraps around those cursed guys. It turns the air to dusty slime and little boys to flies so he just has to hide from the stone men anyways he's walking around uh <laughs> anyways as the fear begins to grow in him uh talking about rock palmer's land and trying to find it eventually he thinks of old marabou he touched his magic feather and suddenly old marabou appeared as soon as he touched the feather uh, says when you touched your when you touched your feather he perceived your pain and came to help you again and you know there's some stuff that happens. They find Mr. Glee, who is freed from his cage, and everyone's happy again. The children are happy. Ernie's happy. It's a happy ending to this exciting and fantastical children's tale, fairy tale, and story. That's that's kind of like the basic sy synopsis, I guess. That's happening. Free from hate is Rock Pommel's land. It ain't too late to open your gate to Rock Pommel's land. Don't be afraid. I feel like Rock Palmer's land is just like his imagination, his imaginary place, his dream world, basically. And Marabou, his dreamy, bird, pterodactyl-like friend. Anyways, I really enjoyed the first half of this album. <laughs> the, the, the main track, the title track, is fine. But the first half of the album, actually, I really, really enjoyed. But, I would love to know what you guys thought. Let me know those thoughts in the comments below. Maybe you hate the first side. You're like, the first side is weak. The second side, this epic, the title track is where it's at. Maybe you feel like me. Maybe you hate all of it. Maybe you love all of it. No matter what, I want to know your thoughts. So I want to read those down below. And of course, you are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. That's all I can ask is that you just listen. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day and being here with me. So thank you for hanging out. And I'll see you later. Bye.